<clears throat> What's up, y'all? Uh, bird call here, just chilling, ice in my shoulder. Got myself back into some boxing, punching some bag and hitting some mitts, and I guess hurting my shoulder. So that's that. But this video is not about boxing. It is about uh, doing a super cheap, not professional paint job on my van. So if you're about to hit me with a bunch of info on how I'm not doing it right, it doesn't matter to me. It's my van. It's not a job I'm doing. So, um, but if you have some tips on how I could do it better, I actually would like that. So if I'm not doing it right, actually, please do let me know. <laughs> uh, I might not listen to your advice, but it still would be interesting to hear. Um, I am doing this paint job for the second time on my van. Uh, I learned a lot the first time. I'm doing it better the second time, just touch up, not really changing the style of it. Still kind of a nice uh, blue to white fade. I used three different colors of blue to, to get this fade. Um, and uh, I went ahead and touched up the grill and the bumpers with black. And I got a nice shiny black for the rims. And then I went ahead and um, did a nice little job on the little astro um, symbols and everything so I guess I think I'm just gonna walk you through my method that I used and again I just want to say I'm not a professional automobile painter um, although I am uh, s familiar with spray paint I did paint murals with spray paint for about five or six years though I don't feel like I I'm not a pro with spray paint either I'll just say that but I do have some practice with it so um, that's that. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show is um, a lot of the scratches and just messed up parts of my old paint job. Um, I, I liked the paint job, but it's just been just getting beat up over the years. And uh, so I decided to do a little touch-up job. I'm just going to be repainting the van more or less in the same style that I painted it to begin with. But hopefully all these sort of um, parts where I had messed up before, I'll be touching up. So um, right now what I'm doing is just cleaning it. Uh, I'm cleaning it the best I can for how, how much interested in doing this like really good I am. So I'm not using any crazy chemicals or anything. I wasn't interested in doing this sort of 100% job on my van. But I did want it to look good, so I did do a really good job washing it, but I did just use some regular dish soap. Um, but I did do a twice over, so I washed the whole thing twice, including the, you know, grills, the rims, all that type of stuff. Uh, I, I rinsed it um, vigorously, so good high pressure on the end of the hose there. Um, and just really doing my best to get all the soap off of it, and then I washed it again. I did the same thing twice. I went ahead and used just some regular old trash bags to cover up the wheels. I taped them a little bit in the back, um, but I didn't really use too much tape on that, mostly just the trash bag. And after I got everything dried off really well, I started taping off. Um, basically, this is the first layer of tape. So this layer is covering everything that will not get any paint on it at all. So what I do is I just use regular masking tape, a pair of scissors, and I do my very best to cut the angles necessary to get all the rounded edges of my windows and the sharp edges of the different angles. And I tape a perimeter around the whole window first, making sure everything is super clean. And then I come in later with the trash bags and I do a second um, uh, layer of tape broadening the perimeter around the window and attaching the trash bag to it. I did this with all the windows um, and the lights and all the reflectors. Then I did my first layer of paint which actually wasn't on the van. It was on the seals around the windows. The last time I painted it, I masked it incorrectly, and I ended up painting these seals 
um, along with the rest of the van. I didn't like the way that looked. I was unhappy with it. So this time around, I had to, before I started painting the van, I went around and painted all the seals black again. So I could have that nice black seal around each window. Uh, after that, I covered those seals with another layer of tape. And then I started painting the van. I started with the um, white and blue on the sides. Um, I got all of the base white and blue pretty much done before I went in to start painting the black on the grill. And um, sometimes with the mask and they're doing the two different tones, um, you can miss some spots. So oftentimes I have, or the last time and this time, after I peeled the tape, I had to go back and add some more paint even after the tape was pulled. So I had to use some large paper, large thick paper to create a sort of shield, a paint shield, so I could touch up these little extra spots. Um, I used a big old can of white Rust-Oleum paint to paint the roof of the um, van. Mm -hmm. um, just a cheaper type of paint and um, you know, all spray paint it pr protects pretty well from rust, but, um... Revealing the tape in the end is always the funnest part. Um, kind of seeing, you know, whether or not I did a good job, which I think I ended up doing a pretty dang good job. And I did a reflective, nice sort of glossy Rust-Oleum black for the rims. A lot of tape used in this project and a lot of time spent masking and cleaning the van. I would say that if you're planning on doing a, your own sort of um, slapdash job painting your own vehicle, I would say give yourself a lot of time to mask it and clean it. That's the most important part. Um, buy the big, you know, stack of masking tape. I think at Home Depot it's like you get five rolls or something for however much dollars. I say get the big stack. Um, I didn't show it in this video, but I actually used a paintbrush on the she on the Chevrolet and the Astro. I just took a regular old paintbrush and I spray painted on a piece of cardboard and then um, dipped my brush in it and used that to paint that stuff. So that is still spray paint on there, but it's actually brushed on. Um, and there you have it. Good old Chevy Astro van. So there you go. That's a kind of do-it-yourself uh, paint job on the van. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say I went through about, I would say about 20 cans of spray paint. Uh, that's, those are normal size cans. I did have the two really big cans of Rust-Oleum. If you were just using Rust-Oleum, you could probably do it for a little bit cheaper with less paint. Um, but I, I like a specific type of paint. I use the uh, Montana Black 94 spray paint. This is what it looks like. I used a couple different color blues. They got a whole bunch to, to choose from. That's why I don't just get paint from uh, from Home Depot because this um, this is legit art for, for legit artwork. So good paint, lasts long, uh, pretty colors. And I used about 20 cans of that stuff. I use... Um, I, I have a bunch of these caps that I, I used to use for uh, murals and graffiti art and stuff. This is the New York fat cap. I also use the skinny cap. Um, my respirator, just a normal respirator from Home Depot. A pair of gloves. Um, 
cut the cut the tip off of a finger so you can still use your phone and uh, they're about eight bucks a can um, which is a little bit expensive because you can get cheap spray paint for like three bucks a can uh, but like I said they got much better colors to choose from and if you're planning on um, painting your vehicle with spray paint or anything with spray paint I suggest covering up as much as of yourself as you can cover up your hair your head, your body, wear a long sleeve, wear a hood, wear a hat, wear a respirator. Cover up as much of yourself as you can, wear gloves, because um, the paint's really hard to get off of your skin. It's gonna take a lot of scrubbing. It'll probably be on you for a couple of days. If you get it in your hair, it's gonna be in your hair for a couple of days, so cover up. You see a lot of like videos of graffiti artists spray painting with their shirts off and stuff. Real graffiti artists aren't doing that because they're not trying to be scrubbing themselves with a Brillo pad in the shower. They're not trying to scrub their, scrub their chests off, get this damn paint off. So real graffiti artists are covering up. They're wearing hoods, hoodies, a hat, and gloves, and everything's covered up. That way they don't got to deal with getting it all over their skin. Wear a respirator for your, um, you know, your health and safety. And, um, yeah, masking tape, trash bags, about 20 cans of spray paint. Um, a, a fat cap, a skinny cap, and masking tape. I probably already said that. That's all. Thanks for watching.